So in my first video, I talked about um, using tea and coffee to make paint. And I just wanted to elaborate and tell you a little bit more about how you can get a whole range of colours just by using um, things from your kitchen cupboard. So we're going to need some tea, some coffee, um, if you, or, um, like things like squash as well, any kind of coloured um, beverage. With teas, if you've got any berry tea, that's really great. Um, peppermint is really great. Peppermint's a really great, uh, a nice green colour and just some standard breakfast tea. So whatever tea bags you have, we can make do with that. So we're going to start with the coffee. So you can just use any coffee, any mug at all. I'm using the clear one so you can see a little bit more what I'm going to be doing. So we're going to use about a tablespoon of coffee in there. Get sort of a good tablespoon of coffee in there. And then the kettle needs to be, you have to have hot water. The kettle needs to be boiled. Cold water just isn't going to draw out um, from the tea or just sort of melt the coffee as well, or dissolve the coffee. So about sort of a sort of a long espresso amount. So you want it to be quite nice and thick. So I'm going to let that sit on the side here. Next, I'm going to start with tea. So I've got my tea bags here. Um, they're still wet, but you can keep reusing them for a while, so you don't need to throw them away. So again, the tea bags, and I'm just going to feel like that's going to be enough. I'm going to let that sit, and I'm going to let that stew for a little bit. Um, so here I had some um, berry tea that I kind of let sit to get a really dark colour. You kind of let the tea bag sit in there for a while. And I'm going to show you how we get a range of colours. So I, I've got coffee, um, tea, berry tea, and I've also got the peppermint, but we'll be able to get more colours. So here with the berries, I'm pouring that a little bit into here, and then I'm just diluting. So I'm going to make a really light version. Um, so you've got much darker here and a lighter version here. So I've got two shades already from that. Here we've got our peppermint tea bags just in here so we've got the peppermint here I'm going to add water to that as well to get a nice and start to see the colour from that how it sort of differs we've already got sort of a green versus this sort of warm brown and then let that one soak in a bit more and now the coffee's totally dissolved I'm going to do a watered down version off the coffee so again pour a bit of the coffee then add some extra water. So we're going to make a much lighter. So here we've got the pure coffee, the pure berry tea, and the pure tea. And then we've got, there we go, let's show this range here. And then we've got the lighter versions, this watered down one here, peppermint tea, and watered down coffee. So these were a range of colours that we're going to use to paint with. Let's move this to the side for you. Now you can paint absolutely anything with this. You could do um, some writing, you can paint kind of some signs, you can do a bit of writing with them. You can use paint brushes. If you don't have paint brushes, and again, you're just using what you have around the house, cotton wool buds are really great, or even just bits of cotton wool, bits of kitchen towel, anything that will absorb some paint. So I'm kind of popping that in there for a minute. See that's picked up some paint. And for this sort of example, you can paint anything you want, but I'm just going to show you something that I quite like doing in the studio, um, testing out colours. It's just forming circles with them. So again, we don't have to worry so much about what we're drawing or kind of copying something. It's just creating a bunch, a series of circles. So then that was the coffee. This here, I've got the, the berry tea here. And we see it's sort of a lighter colour, but we can see there's a, a red tone coming up here on that. Also, using little dots of colour works really nicely with this. Just get a little dot here. And again, in the same way as you would work with any kind of paint, clean, your, clean the paintbrush. This here is the peppermint I'm using. And we'll see the peppermint is a greener got a greener tone here coming up and we're just going to continue the pattern all the way across the page and you'll end up with something like this again we've got a series of the, the fruit teas the darker teas the coffees just creating 
quite an interesting pattern across a piece of paper. You can paint flowers, anything you want to really, um, grids and patterns. It's just a way of using if you want to paint and using the things that you have around at home. So I hope you find the activity interesting. Thanks.